Well, the time has arrived. Let's fix this little guy's feet. What we've got here is a healthy little buck lamb, and you can see he's got contracted tendons from the upper portion of his leg to the lower portion. But the way he's standing, he will put tension on those, and they'll straighten themselves out. What I'm worried about is his feet down here. Right now, he is walking like this. It's actually putting weight on the front of his hoof, which means that his natural stance is not going to stretch out the tendons in his wrist, essentially. Eventually, that'll cause an infection in there where a sore will form, and once that's in there, odds are not good. So we're going to put a custom-made splint on that leg to put tension on the hoof to draw it this way and stretch out that tendon. He's right at the point where he may fix it himself, but I'm not holding my breath, so we're going to help him out. Now what we're using for a splint is actually a piece of inch and a quarter PVC pipe. I just had it lying around. I've used PVC before, it works nice, and it's flexible, I can form it. I used a heat gun, I put a little bevel on the very end there, and I also opened up the radius because an inch and a half probably would've worked better, but I didn't have any. Yes, mama, we hear you, we're fixing him. So the materials we're gonna use are our PVC splints that we've opened up and curved just a little bit, vet wrap, and I've got some old trimmings from a sweatshirt that we're gonna use as padding. Pro tip, if you're gonna be using vet wrap by yourself with a struggling little lamb, pull the tail off the roll first, that way you can get it easier. So step one, we're going to lay some padding down on the lower leg, just like so. It's, I don't know, three layers deep, nice and loose. And then we're going to follow up by putting our splint on there. Like I said, I've got the top end curved so that it doesn't cut into his knee joint there. It gives him a little bit of protection. Now the goal is I want this to be right down about equal with the tip of the hoof, something like that. Then we're going to attach that with some vet wrap. It's not terribly tight, but it is enough. Just stiff enough that you can't get your fingernail underneath it. It's not going to cut off circulation. Now where we want to put the tension is right here on his hoof. Now one of the tricks I like to do is I, when I'm coming underneath the hoof, I'll take that wrap and I'll twist it to make a nice sturdy band that catches him right on the bottom portion of his hoof there to put good tension on it. And I'll finish it up with a complete wrap and tie it in to the first. And make sure everything is lined up nice. And there we go, that's a splint. Now he will gradually stretch this portion of his leg out. Both of these ligaments are a little bit short. But as he walks on this, we're just making sure that this hoof stays in contact with the ground and that he's not walking like so. Now one other note is sometimes with these things, the leg will have a little bit of a twist to it. There was a lack of space when the grow he was growing. So this second splint isn't actually lining up with the direction, the radius of his leg. We're lining it up on that hoof. That's the goal. So we're gonna come around Maintaining a little bit of tension, and we get to that hoof, that's where we pull a little bit. We're going to twist to put the weight where we want it, tension. Put a little bit of tension on there. And then just tie it all up. And we're done. And look at that, he's standing a little more upright already. Now we're gonna leave those splints on there for several days, maybe even a week or two. We'll, it depends how he progresses. We will take them off and reapply them a few times, and we're just gonna keep an eye on things. Now the splint themselves aren't actually gonna fix things all that much, although the vet rep with that tension on the very bottom of his hoof is gonna help. We're making sure that he stands on his hoof as he should, and his own body weight walking around should do the work for us. We're just making sure that he has to do that work. Now that being said, a lamb like this, because that front leg does have a little bit of a twist to it, if this was a ewe lamb, I would not recommend keeping her. That twist in the front leg, that's going to cause hoof issues down the road. Um, it's probably a sheep you're gonna have to trim more often than not. Our goal here is let's get this guy walking normal, let's get his feet in order, and then he can grow up and provide food for somebody else. That's the plan. But I think it's time to get him back to mom. He seems a little anxious. And there he goes. The one thing that's really in our favor is this is a very strong lamb. He really has the will to thrive. And with some help, he should do just fine and dandy. We'll keep an eye on him, but I think we're good to go.